My name is Fusumzi Ngongo. I was arrested in 1977 and convicted in 1978. When I arrived here, I was 24. I'm now 63. Uh, Robben Island has got quite a number of layers to it. It's been a site of banishment uh, over the years. It was a leper colony. It was a site for World War II uh, garrison and uh, then was a prison for political prisoners. People like uh, Nelson Mandela, Walter Susulu, uh, Govan Becky, uh, uh, Ahmad Katrada were, were held. I am working here. I stay on, on Robben Island. I have a passion for this place. And this passion made me to, at all times, respect the integrity of people who are coming here. We receive visitors on a daily basis, upwards of 1,600, sometimes up to 2,000 visitors, to come and actually see and experience this, uh, this miracle. So it's quite impressive. So Robben Island is not just a political and historical monument. Um, it's very much a big, vibrant working island. They need to house over 100 staff permanently. There's a harbour, uh, there's a lighthouse. And so overall, the energy requirements of Robben Island are quite significant. And the big issue is energy, which has been done up to now completely uh, via diesel uh, generators. And so we've been a diesel you know, guzzler. Burning more than 600,000 litres of diesel per year at great cost and great pollution. But this is going to change. Robben Island is now embarking on a solar project which is going to power the entire island for at least nine months of the year. The solar project is a project that was initiated by the Department of Tourism. It will be running power during the day. We've got a battery bank that will run power maybe for the next three or so hours when the sun goes down. The technology is there to actually fundamentally change the way energy works in our lives. So I suppose what Robben Island has, has taught us is that times can change. In many ways it's a microcosm of South Africa and in some ways I think this project is also maybe a symbol of change and, and, and a good opportunity for everybody to learn that a completely self-contained island like that can actually power itself by an energy that lands every single day. Because of the compelling story, it resonates with everybody in the world. Robben Island should always be a beacon of hope for everyone. I can learn from the past because the past has made me to what I am today. Uh, hence, I am positive that the future looks more brighter. <laughs>